to uh, this workshop which is on the um, campaign for green jobs. Uh, my name is Andy Hewitt and I'm in sec the Secretary of Green Left. Um, I'm chairing this today. Uh, but more importantly, um, our two speakers we've got today both happen to be members of Green Left. Um, to my left, we've got Theresa Delaney, um, who's um, Green Left's Equalities and Diversity Officer, um, but also a member of the GMB Union, um, a psychiatric nurse. And also has uh, been um, quite involved in uh, some of the, the recent planning meetings that have been going on around the Vestas campaign. Um, and further over to my right there, um, we've already had uh, an oration from Romain this morning, which is uh, Councillor Romain Phoenix uh, from Lewisham, uh, also known as Green Left, and uh, she'll be speaking as well. But well, what are you here, you remember? I'm an NUT Union. Invested in the Green Party Trade Union Group, yeah. Socialist Business Consultant. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Y
but um, certainly we can discuss that further in the meeting or you can approach me after the meeting because um, there are certain organisations that if people don't have money we, we can fund people to go down, we can arrange minibuses, we can sort out train tickets for people. So that's the, the most important thing. And the other thing, um, which is um, being organised mainly through the RMT, is about collecting money for the occupiers. Both because morally those people shouldn't lose out financially on their redundancy payment, but also if they've got money, it allows them to continue to go around the country speaking, to be involved in campaigns rather than you know what they would otherwise have to do, which is join the other 3,000 unemployed people on the Isle of Wight in searching for a job. So they're the two most urgent things. But on the 17th, um, the Campaign Against Climate Change and the RMT and lots of the other broad spectrum of organisations that have been involved in the struggle have set a national day of action, so that's this Thursday. Um, the, I'm going to be London centric here because I'm from London, but the main events that are happening in London are a lobby at lunchtime outside the Department for Energy and Climate um, and then a picket in the evening. It's particularly the 12.30 lunchtime lobby that is going to need support. So if anybody lives near Whitehall, works near Whitehall, can get down there at all. There's a lot of PCS people involved in that who obviously work within Whitehall and they're hoping to encourage people that work inside deck to come out as well, but particularly that action is going to need people to get down to it. Then there's the evening rally, which starts at 5.30 again outside deck, and then if there are enough people, and it's always a case of numbers, there's a further public meeting at 7.30 at the London Welsh Centre on Grayson Road, and we're hoping to get enough numbers that we can march to that, but that's all obviously dependent on how many people we can get along. If you can't go to those, um, those two, the lobby and the rally, then there are lots of other things that the Vestas workers are encouraging people to do. The most simple thing is they're asking people to wear green on Thursday. Now I would say, by all means wear green, but do tell people why you are, because otherwise it's fairly pointless. I was arguing, um, and other kind of actions within the workplace. Obviously, people work in very different workplaces with very different levels of organisation within them. But if you can chat to colleagues or organise a workplace meeting, or if you're in a unionised workforce, you can call a union meeting to talk about the 